coming up. A load of hot cheerleaders and a pervert, not me, so. This is TGFYTCSE. Essentially, it's where you can see the funniest and best football videos in one place every week. Yeah, or weekly, so subscribe and then you can forget about it. We'll just be there in your feed. Well done to Banking24 and Utabi Aguna, who said last week when I drew the screen, I was singing Candy by Robbie Williams. I don't know why, I hate it. Uh, so you can guess this week's song. That's so upsetting when that happens. Right. Right, first up, where else can we start than with my joke of a football club, Chelsea? And it's not just me that thinks it's a joke. Have a look at Mourinho's reaction when he found out Rafa had been put in as interim manager. <laughs> <laughs> it was a difficult first day for Rafa at the bridge. And cast your mind back to last season. Do you remember Jeff Shreves trying to make Ivanovic cry ahead of the Champions League final? He wasn't going to let Rafa off the hook either, repeatedly reminding the new boss how much the Chelsea fans hate him. Now, before the game, we spoke about it. You said you may not get the warmest of receptions, but that was absolutely awful. But seriously, how, how do you go about it, and how big a problem is it when you've got your own fans booing the manager? But it, even if you didn't hear it, I can tell you, virtually the entire Chelsea crowd yeah. booed you, and they were singing, we don't want you here. Yeah. It is going to be really difficult for you, Rafa, to turn this around. We will wait, and we will see what happens. Rafa was defiant and didn't shed a tear. Such composure. Time now for the greatest football YouTube clip show ever, Dance Break of the Week. Sorry. We start with Dirk Cow. And listen, mate, I'm not saying your reactions are slow or anything, but uh, Gangnam Style was about six months ago. Well done, you're officially the last footballer to do the dance. Brilliant. <laughs> From Gangnam Style to the Mobot, or should I say the uh, Jermaine Defoe bot? No, I'll, I'll stick with Mobot, sorry. Do the Mobot. <laughs> Pretty good turnout, that. Jermaine Defoe and, you know, 96, he was there, wasn't he, in 77? Still, it's very difficult to get footballers to turn up to these promotional events, unless, of course, you're going to give them a free Audi. So here we go, Barcelona players, all getting their free Audis, very lovely indeed. Oh, David Villa went for the hatchback, love that. Danny Alves, loves his red one. And as befits the greatest player on the planet, Lionel Messi gets his own customised convertible. It's <laughs> a good one. Sticking with Barcelona then, and as we know, they've learned everything there is to know about the game of football. So they have to sort of be creative in training, don't they? This week, what should we do, lads? Oh, I don't know. Head a football into a basketball net perfectly, twice. Yeah, right. Mad skills! They wouldn't get out of place on a Dude Perfect video. In fact, we decided to ask them what they thought of it. Uh, yeah, that was sick. If you haven't seen Dude Perfect before, watch their videos. They're the nuts. Subscribe to them at the end. There'll be a link in the description. Sticking with Barcelona still, and uh, what would you say is the best cameraman job in the world, aside from working with me on this show? Uh, probably filming the tryouts of the new Barcelona cheerleaders. Lovely. Second best job in the world, probably being there and being asked to judge them in a 1970s perverted way. Look at his face. From cheerleaders on the continent to cheerleaders in South East London. And uh, check out the one with the grey hair in the middle. Fit. Now, Ryan J. Bailey at the kickback of Kick TV. You'll have seen him. He does a show like this in America. It's just not as funny. I'm kidding. One thing I'm not kidding about, though, is the constant harassment of my mother, Ryan. She's gone too far. She had to record a video for you. Have a look. Ryan, will you please stop emailing me and telephoning me? It's getting really embarrassing. And I'm going to say this once. If you, only, if you ever want to get a girlfriend, you're going to have to shave that top lip. That bit of fluff is just not a good look. If you haven't seen Kick TV, then have a look after this is finished. Mm. 
Never touch another man's water. Ibrahimovic knows. Never say I don't do anything for you. That last clip was for Loves to Sprooge, who last week commented and said, Oh, no Ibrahimovic, I'm on subbing. So there you go. Sub back. If you thought Avengers Assemble was the greatest collaboration of the year, then think again, because it's been outdone by Manchester United, Indonesian pop band Niji, and Mr. Potato Crisps. Yes! Now, I never thought I'd be able to say these words again, but I can. Check out this brilliant Zidane goal. It's not Zinedine, it's his son Enzo Allen. That's his name, Wikipedia it, it's true. That's not even our goal of the week. That goes to Javier Portillo from Paraguay with this absolute belter even Ray Wilkins would be proud of. Hashtag stay on your feet. Right, as always, all the videos we've used are on the wall behind me, and there's a bonus one in the top right there from our friends at Fast, Furious and Funny. It's Wojciech Szczesny wrapping his Porsche. See what I did there? Brilliant. Go and watch it if you like it, subscribe to them. And don't forget to subscribe to us, just the link at the bottom there, and you'll see us first every week. Bye!